The whole underwater world is celebrating! Hmm. Ursula and Hades are expecting! Get all the details on Lalalu. <laughs> Cover a broken doll with lavender paint. First, cover the head, then the arms, wrists, and fingers. Paint part of the legs. Ursula loves bright makeup. It really makes her hair stand out from the crowd. High eyebrows and purple-green eyeshadow. That's what I call stylish. How does she manage to have such thick eyelashes underwater? It must be dark magic. Shiny white teeth and bright red lipstick. Don't forget a small mole. Use white hair extensions to make Ursula's hair. Short hair really suits her. So do her dolphin-shaped earrings. Make a fancy skin-tight dress out of black athletic fabric. Attach a round template to a piece of tulle using pins and cut out a few layers. Cut a hole in the middle. Purple and black tulle is covering the dress. Add layers to the bottom, one by one. Looks like something's missing. This ribbon is just what we need. Wrap it around her calves so it looks like a magic whirlwind. Complete the look with a shell-shaped necklace. Ursula is a real femme fatale. Her looks can kill. And now she is going to be a mom. My little trickster will be born soon and terrorize the world! Mwahaha! <laughs> hmm. The water darkened and a magic fog appeared. It must be the work of a little baby Octi. It's a boy! Where's his daddy, Hades? Let's make the god of the underworld. Cover a broken Ken doll with modeling clay. High eyebrows, prominent cheekbones, and an aquiline nose. That's the look. Shape eyes and a smile with a modeling tool. He is so charismatic. <laughs> Hades has pale skin. He lives in the underworld, after all. He has orange eyes, raised black eyebrows, gray lips, and a few wrinkles. Hades is a little bit tired after doing so many wicked deeds. Glue pieces of gray fabric to make a shirt. Highlight the stripes on his sleeves and a collar with acrylic paint. Add a pattern. Make Hades signature style using blue hair extensions. Fiery flashes make his hair stand on end. Glue Hades to a lotion bottle. He is much taller now. Top the shirt with a long black toga. Fasten it with a golden skull. I am the lord of the underworld. But I found my one true love underwater. How ironic. <laughs> This small broken doll will have a new family soon. And he'll learn how to walk on his tentacles. Remove the legs with a utility knife. Knead a piece of modeling clay and make a little ball. Then roll it into a long tentacle. Use a pen rod to make a suction pad print. Add one tentacle. And then all six of them. How does he not get tangled in all these tentacles? His clay hair stands up like fire. Octi has lavender skin. His tentacles are purple and the suction pads are pink. His hair is blue like the ocean. Draw his face, eyes, lips, and a very serious look in his eyes. We can tell that he is not one to mess with. 
let's make a rattle. We need a jump ring and a jewelry wire. What a perfect combination. Pull a jewelry wire through. Trim the edges. These little bells will ring loud enough for the whole underwater kingdom to hear. Just a moment and the bells slide right in. Glue a plastic stick as a handle. Paint a silver bead black. Cover the ring itself with purple paint. And sprinkle it with glitter. It is so shiny! Looks like Ursula has a new accessory. But this ringing is too loud for her. Better give it to the baby to play with. The baby's hungry. Let's give him a bottle. Take a rubber catheter from an old IV. One, two, three pieces. We need the middle one. Add a drop of hot glue. We made a pacifier. Cover the bottle with white acrylic paint. Decorate with a flash tattoo of a spider on a bottle of poison. A few drops of glue and the tattoo is ready. Apply divisions with a marker. Hey, mermaid, get my baby a bottle of cuttlefish ink. I am happy to help, ma'am. Oh, Octi loves bitter flavors. I have to add sage to all his food and drinks. After having his bottle, Octi is getting sleepy. It's time for bed. Apply rich lotion to a smooth surface. Draw corals with hot glue. Is it dry? Time to paint it. Sprinkle them with glitter. There are so many corals. Purple ones, blue ones, of all shapes and sizes. Cover the sides of a clear bowl with corals. Cut out a circle of the same diameter out of foam rubber. It'll be a mattress. We just need to cover it with fabric. It's a perfect fit! Fill the bottom layer with corals. And wrap the central part with a ribbon. No time to play games! We just need a soap bubble bottle! Cut three strips out of glittery foam paper and wrap them around the bottle. We made a glittery leg! Do the same to a metallic bottle lid. It will become a base. Glue all the pieces together to make a crib. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. One day you're gonna rule the whole sea world. Honey, don't forget that he takes after me, too. Look at our hair. We need to add a mobile. Cover metal pendants with fluorescent acrylic paint. Attach them to a jump ring. Add as many skull-shaped beads as you can. <laughs> now the baby will never get bored in his crib. And the glow-in-the-dark paint will help him see all the figurines even when it's nighttime. Octi is no different from other kids. His teeth are starting to grow. Let's make a pacifier with a teething ring. Remove the star-shaped lid from a soap bubble bottle. We'll make a pacifier out of a drop of hot glue. You can spell out so many words with these alphabet beads. The baby spelled the word Octi. What a smart boy. He already knows his name. And soon, he'll be able to spell it with fire. The whole underwater world loves baby Octi. He is going to be a handful when he grows up. Don't worry, Daddy Hades and Mommy Ursula will teach him all he needs to know. What do you think? Which superpower is Baby Octi going to develop first? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Like our video, subscribe to Lalaloo, and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos.